to create the model we start with part section first we need to create the part uh, here the value is 0 0.1 part 1 3d deformable solid extrusion the first point is 0 and 0 for x and y direction and the second point is 0 0.03 and 0 0.01 in y direction okay which is 3 centimeter in x and 1 centimeter in y for depths we select 5 centimeter now we need to define some datum in here we select midway, midway between two points between these two and these two and then we can go with creating partition in here define cutting plane point and normal point and normal for here another one for point and normal for this three part and then we select all of them and then point are normal again this point uh, wait and one more time in here point are normal we select this point and this line yes and this is our part now we can go for property in property we need to define density specific heat and conductivity for density we can use a 7800 for specific heat we have 300 and for conductivity it is 30 and then we assign the property like this okay so we can go for assembly now in here we insert the part at first we rotate this part x direction okay then we need to rotate it along z direction and after that one more time along z direction for 180 degree and now we can move this point to the center of the our system okay as you can see this is our x direction this is z and this is y it's very important to have this uh, uh, orientation because we need to use it for our subroutine code now we can go for the next step okay i'm gonna create the step in here i'm gonna call it pre-step heat transfer step and uh, I'm gonna use very small value for time period because in this step I'm gonna use it for deactivating the elements it's not very important here to set the value so everything's fine now but we do need another step call it for example welding dash one heat transfer time period is 1 initial 0 0.1 and for maximum you can assign a very large number uh, for maximum number of increment again a large number in addition I need to change it to 0 0.2 the maximum value for increment size so we can have a better animation okay everything's fine now we can continue in addition we could use fill out with option but right now we, ju we just use the maximum increment size for others sir, I'm gonna use uh, Python code 
for the next step, uh, we need to go to introduction and deactivate these elements. So in here, I'm gonna ch use a model change, welding, I'm gonna change it to pre-step. I'm gonna say geometry, deactivate in this step. I'm gonna select this region. Uh, everything's fine now, we can continue. For load, we are using surface heat transfer. So for here, I'm going to select this surface and also these two. And because we are we're going to use subroutine, we need to use uh, change it to user define. Put the value one on here. And uh, for now, and also we can use predefined temperature in here use it initial temperature and set value 25 okay now for mesh mesh part we need to create the mesh we assign approximate global size 0 0.002 and then we mesh it. It's very it's, it's a fine mesh for now. We do also need to change the formulation for elements. In here we select heat transfer. And for now everything's fine, but we also need to create the subroutine file and the Python code. If I needed to change anything, I'm gonna do it later. Before that, I might need to change my set work directory. Okay. And now I can save my file. Okay. And now we're going to use the Python code. For Python, we go to the work directory. And then we copy this. We call it Welding dot py so we can change the format and then we open it okay then we need to remove this line erase this line except these functions so we can use it for abacus we save it I already created the I already developed the code for for creating the step and the activation as you, uh, but I, I need to explain it as you can see I defined the tolerance for uh, value for here and the speed uh, the welding speed is one centimeter per second in here you can see the loop in loop I defined to create four more step for our uh, model the models the step are heat transfer but for this I might need to open the abacus so I can def define it for you as you can see in here it is our step in here if you open it this is the maximum number of increment maximum number of increment in is in here minimum increment which is for here the name and the previous uh, I'm gonna explain it later for delt mx it's for this value maximum allowable temperature change per increment initial increment size in here and uh, the maximum increment size is for here i use different values i can have a step with different value but for this i said that i'm gonna use a step i'm gonna create a step with this name and it should be after this step so whenever it's uh, for example assume that the i is two so i'm gonna create welding two and it's gonna be after welding one 
Okay, but for activation, we need to activate our elements. For uh, this purpose, uh, we define another loop. As you can see here, I said we're gonna use model change. We're gonna activate it, so true. We're gonna create it in this step name here we're gonna select the region uh, here is the selection method i'm gonna use element and then in element base gonna be uh, use it from root assembly instance and i'm gonna use the get by bounding box method and then i need to uh, define the cuboid to and uh, which contains the elements that wa i wanted to activate them which is in here and after that, I'm going to, we want to select the region from the elements. So the region type is elements. It's fine for now. So, so after up running the Python code, you're going to see four more steps are defined with those values that we, def uh, we defined. And also in the interaction part, we define the activated element as you can see this one was for the activating elements but these are these were for activating them you can see so as you can see it's moving okay it's fine for now but we still need to def uh, develop the code for subroutine for subroutine we need to go to the abacus documentation In here we go to Abacus User Subroutine Reference Guide. In here, Abacus Standard Subroutine, and then we're looking for Dflux. Here's the code for Abacus Dflux. We copy it. We go to the work directory. In here, we create a file, a text file. We name it, for example, dflux.4. And then we, op we open it and we put our code in it. In here, we need to put our code in instead of this line. Okay. Now we start to writing the code. First of all, we need to define x, y, z. x is equal to chords one z then we need to define the time t is equal to time two and then x zero is equal to zero it's defined the initial the starting point y zero is equal to zero point zero z zero is 0.0, .0. we can say d0 to make it more accurate so we can have double pre precision value but doesn't it's not necessary for here we need to define the value for power 2000 is enough for now and the radius of the gaussian distribution is 0.0075 and we need to define pi 3.141593 for speed we have 0 0.01 1 centimeter per second now we need to define the equation for movement of the arc it's moved along x direction so x c is equal to x0 plus speed multiplied by to time and then for y we don't have any movement so it's going to be a stay in the first point same as z direction z direction so zc is equal to z0 and then we say the efficiency factor is equal to 0 0.7 for now everything's fine but we need to define the flux flux one at first we said that the flux 
one should be zero for all parts but if the elements were in inside the radius inside the, that circle we need to put the value the heat input on it i'm writing the gaussian this heat distribution we need to define an if so if the, our elements were inside the circle it needed to have a heat flux on it Uh, for flux 2, which is grad a heat gradient, we assign zero value. We don't need it now. Okay, but before going, I need to put a step in a few space in here thing. I need to add one more space in here. These lines should have the same pace as these line have. In here, I just edited two more things. Uh, first of all, I define this because we want to use uh, radius power 2 in all our our equations so I use this line and also I put R0 in here and here for now everything's fine as I explained in the previous mo uh, video we need to create a job and then we say write input after it we pressed shift and uh, we use shift and right click to open windows powershell abacus user equal dflux.4 drop equal job minus one dot imp interactive after finishing our model can open it here as you can see the heat is moving on this line and the material is added it's simulated the welding process in welding we add the material and also we move the heat flux on it so you can have the same process you in here you also can have the heat flux as well the maximum temperature is around 2000 degree of centigrade and the model is completed so for now everything is okay thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video we like to hear back from you so we can improve our video if you have any question or any suggestion please let us know so we can provide them for you until the next video bye